What's up? Still gonna do this because I want to do the live stream or I want to get the content for YouTube and get it produced for tomorrow. So it's a few days ahead of this hard fork for Ravencoin. Um, I'll cover a few of the questions that are already on the channel tonight uh, where people were asking, you know, is, Ra is the Ravencoin network going to do a coin, like a coin split of the, where if you're mining both sides, right when the fork happens, if somebody continues to mine the old network, are there pools and stuff set up for that? That could happen. Um, I doubt it will continue on unless there's like kind of a development team really teed up for that to cater to that that split splits that occur the only way that people will continue to mine i mean short of just doing it for the funsies for the first day or so to throw some hash power at it and then watch it occur to get the news buzz the long-term sustainability of keeping two chains alive is a whole other issue if you don't have development on the other side then you're going to have um, some difficulties over a long period of time because if it's not maintained and if there's like uh, an issue that's found you know with the code base and then nobody goes in there and fixes it you have those issues um, and additionally the primary chain will that that's forking right now uh, with the new feature set has the development you know resources that are going to be maintaining that thereby they're going to also be working with exchanges and anybody that's you know implementing the new features and stuff so will there be a chain you know will will the miners that have invested in asics and that um, continue to mine that it, it all comes down to are they going to maintain the, the development side to stay, you know, to keep it relevant for that network and continue that. And that's just be seen. I haven't seen that, if that's gonna occur. I doubt it. Does this mean A6 and FPGAs uh, can't mine? After this, it means for sure A6 will not be able to mine um, because they have been stamped specifically for this, this X16R, uh, meaning the hardware itself has been create it to just do that. Um, that's a hardware level thing. FPGAs are reprogrammable. So the moment the GitHub was updated with the X16 revision two, the R2 update, from that point on, anybody that had bit streams could start trying to plug away and trying to create a new bit stream for that. So that is a, that's a thing. So somebody could, they, they've had a running start for the last two weeks to try to fix the bit streams. So if you have very private groups with very talented, you know, FPGAs, FPGA developers that can write the right, correct bit stream and even if they're doing some kind of offloading of some of the, t the heavier tasks, if they can't write it for the particular piece of hardware, um, you know, the FPGA, then there's, you know, a chance that they've already written it, it's already fixed and they're ready to go. And it'll auto switch and all that. But that's gonna be a super niche group, a niche set of specialized hardware that's very expensive. Um, usually FPGAs, you don't see a huge impact on there because they haven't proliferated like having a low cost um, solution like, uh, you know, an ASIC can do, where you can, once you build that template and that foundry, you can just pump them out as fast as you can pop the silicon. FPGAs are a little more sketchier than that because they're more uh, Swiss Army knives. They can do a lot more things and they're expensive. They're about three grand a piece. Has somebody written stuff, bit streams for it? I have no doubt that if somebody had a huge investment in FPGAs, they've been working on trying to get X16R R2, uh, revision two, but you know, will that affect the network? Who knows? Um, but let's go ahead and start this because otherwise I'll talk all night on this stuff. If we go into the root of the folder, so this is getting into Bitcoin talk, got info, and you kind of scroll yourself down here, mining, call, mining altcoins. I'm gonna just download Team Red 0.5.9. The enemy updated 2.2, added support for the upcoming fork, just to kind of use Google's nice little search to get over to there. So there's the latest T-Rex miner. And this has got some, uh, some details in here that we'll come back to. So I'm gonna leave this page up because there's a syntax that you can, first one on T-Rex, uh, we could just use the two miners and edit. More info, we're gonna run that anyways. So already they have this set up for X16 RV2. The list of different pools from the limited research that I've done so far, a lot of the pools that are the major pools, I would say that probably top five or six pools have acknowledged they are prepared and ready to fork over. At the time they've flagged for the update and as long as you're pointed to these particular pools at the time and you have your syntax set up in the way that they're suggesting right now. So in our T-Rex here, this is under GitHub under 0.14.4, 
this right here, the four, so this, essentially they put in a special command, a string, this is what they would call a string in here. So it's at fork dash at this timestamp at this t at this time, do this action. And what that, this dash dash fork under the covers here, this is actually just going in and just switching the algorithm for you. So it's, it's taking that parameter and just making it simple for you, putting it on a set of rails to make it, uh, to make it not mess up. So if you have, you would put this in right now with your existing parameter. So like if you had your miner set up and this is where you were going and this is where your address was and you were just set to here, right? You could put in this parameter right past this. Okay. So it's, it's going to carry that over. We're going to launch this and see if we're running. Here we go. Yep. So it's going, it's running on X 16 R. You can see it right here. That's the algorithm it's running. And what it's saying is saying has been requested and it will be changed to this. So fork has been requested at this date, at this time. Now what that's going to do is allow you to, to operate in a, you know, continuously. So that's like a continuous situation to where if you're not able to change your miners, what they've done is they've done you a solid and they've created that string in there for you. So if you're offline, you're at work, you're asleep, right? The next time you're able to get to your mining, software you would take that out and you would just change this back to the algorithm which the syntax for that is right here this is what you'd be changing it to so then you wouldn't have to have that that string in there you could just come back in after the after the uh, switch occurs the next time you see there make sure there's no space there and then you could save that and you don't need to have that switch in there anymore that switch is only doing you a solid if your miner's running when that fork happens. Um, otherwise, if you're if you're staying offline until the fork happens, you could just go right in there and change the switch to the to the appropriate algorithm type. Post fork, you see that everything's went good. You just put that switch in there and you're good to go. So we got a fresh, brand new Radeon Seven here. See, this guy has not been opened. So they at least have the two in the latest release. So you do have X16 RV2 edit, but they did not do it. looks like just T-Rex was the ones giving us the solid on having the, uh, the string in there. This is, the, this is the line that's running because it doesn't have the doubles here, the double break there too. So yeah, it's uh, essentially that's what's gonna run. We're gonna run the current algorithm. We'll use a little more power. Oh, I can smell that new card. Fans at maximum. Unlike T-Rex, you are going to have to control when you go, but they do have that already preset. You would just come in there, edit, no, oh, not run it yet, upon the fork, and then kick it off. It's already preset up for you guys. I mean, they've made a lot of this stuff so much easier than it used to be because the pre-syntax stuff really set, saves people some cycles and then make sure that you're hitting your actual pool. But um, that is your algorithm difference. 